I went online, I went to Chrome, I tried everything, and I cannot get this to work. This is beyond annoying. It's super annoying. How is everybody? I have to do it like this. It's not really the best. It's not really the best, y'all. Hi, I can't even see the chat. Is it going up? Is it going up, y'all? Let's see, welcome, whatever. Oh my goodness, okay, hi you guys. Look at that light there. Move that light, there. I move my head, there. Oh no, the lights are ever, this is just terrible. I cannot, I cannot get this to go the way it is. It's supposed to go like this and it won't do it. It's beyond bizarre, it won't. I've, I've been on the phone 7,000 times and when I post this, I'm going to have unprofessional, not that I'm ever professional, but black lines at the side. It's so annoying. I'm doing it like this for now, but it's really annoying. So I'm going to have to go into, um, I booked my first reading with you. Oh my goodness. Well, now that's making me afraid because I'm sure I will <laughs> disappoint. Y'all, how is everybody? Um, yeah, hi, you guys. Scoot back. No, it's not that. It oh, for the light. No, it's not that. It's the up and down part. It's terrible. Look at listen. I'm actually gonna have to go into Apple because this should not be happening this way, and I can't get them. I can't get anybody to cut it out. Cut it out. I can't get anybody to pay attention. Like I've phoned and phoned and phoned, and it it won't do it. So I've tried with the other app. I've annoying. Annoying, annoying, wait. Okay, hold on, I got a way to fix that. Hold on one sec. Ah! I hate that noise. I'm gonna put the chairs on coasters, hold on. And put my pillow up. Un most unprofessional. Okay. okay. There. I'm gonna block that light, y'all. I'm blocking the light, okay. <laughs> and there's another light up there and one there, but whatever. So no sound, what do you mean no sound? You can't, I can't turn it sideways, it won't do it. It literally won't do it, won't do it. It says orientation lock rotate device. It's so fucked up, it won't rotate. I literally have been on the phone, okay. All right, I've literally been on the phone with them for all week and I really can't, oh shit. I really can't handle, <laughs> oh my God, I really can't handle it. I really can't handle it. It's starting to really get on my nerve. Don't have a little bottom right corner to flip it sideways. No sound. Okay, you hear me? Okay, I, you know, some, I, I really can't. I spent hours on the phone. I can't. I'm ready to fucking hurl the phone out the window. Can you hear me, y'all? Okay, Beth, tell me if you can hear me. Somebody from Toronto catching you live. You hear me? Okay, good. Um, looks like, wait, it looks and can hear you fine. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I'm like, can you hear me? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay, so. I got to show y'all. All right, look, look, you guys, because I'm crazy. I am literally crazy. This has driven me crazy. Anyway, last night, I made two rings. Can you see them? This one has, um, where's my hand? There. Can you see, can you see that? It's blue opal, and this one has gold leafing and gold with some purple. Can you see those? Anyway, this one, as I stick this finger up, this one I made with, um, I'm doing like memorial rings. Anyway, this has Keithy's hair and his ashes, and this just has Keithy's ashes. So I made a whole bunch of different ash rings, but this had his little blonde hair from the first haircut. Yes, I've, Julie, trust me, I've unlocked the portrait screen. It's not locked. It's not locked, that's the problem. So yeah, this one has his hair from his first haircut. A little bit, I clipped a little bit in the resin and then this one has blue opal. I buy the crushed opal and then the gold leafing. So I just do it that way. So this is what I do at night when I'm like by myself. I make rings out of my dead son, which 
Okay, there, sorry. I make rings out of my dead child because I'm in, oh, for fuck's sakes, y'all. Okay, there, am I back? Okay, I make rings with Keithy. So that's what I do. I'm gonna make some pins and do stuff like that too. So that's, let's see, hanging out on the state, like turning holy water into wine. Exactly, can you, yeah, I will. Let's see, I still can't get Google Play. I, I, I literally wanna fucking kill YouTube has to be a YouTube thing. Anyway, yeah, you saw my door outside of my studio. I have the windows covered up because the neighbors can hear me on the street. Like, they literally can hear me on the street. They're probably like, who is this bitch yelling at all the time? <laughs> Hi, Donna. <laughs> anyway, this one I really liked because I wanted to give it a different color. It looks blue, but it's actually purple. So, and it's got the ash, the gold leafing, and copper inside. So that one came last night and I used a different bezel um, thing and then I did it and then I put, yeah, it's kind of pinky blue. I always leave a little blue because that's Keithy. And then this is just the color of Keith's bike. But if you look at it in the light, you can see his ash through it. I should do one with just ash and silver. The poor child's probably going, what is my mother doing? She's crazy. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, I gave them bracelets. I gave John, uh, John didn't want to wear it, but I gave Jason a bracelet with it, uh, whatever, a band. I don't know. No, I have no thoughts on the eclipse yet. I'm going to do a video on that. So, uh, yeah, exactly. Then end up in the, wait, better to make jewelry than end up, I don't know, then end up in the dump like one third of, oh, yes, yes, oh, no. No, no, I make jewelry with Keithy. I have all his ashes. They're in my bedroom. They're on my dresser. They're beside my bed. I'm insane. I'm sorry, I keep bringing this up. But anyway, when Keithy died, I got 13 little urns for his friends and gave each of his little friends an urn with his ashes. The one, you know, th that I could. So I had to narrow down the friends. Um, so, and then I gave Jason his. I have John's, that kind of thing. Um, yeah, I'm wearing one, two... Yeah, three. I'm wearing three. I have this necklace. This, um, Marina gave me this. My friend Marina that I went to see um, Ed Bagley's uh, book signing. Anyway, she gave me the chain and I put this pendant on the chain. So I can take it on and off. Anyway, this is her chain from her jewelry line. So uh, it's a matte gold. It's actually matte gold. It's matte and it's gold. So yeah, that was fun. Uh, yeah, Scorpio rising thing. <laughs> yeah, it could be. It could be a Scorpio rising. Um, yeah, so anyway, there's that. Now I have a treat for you all, which has nothing to do with anything. It just means I'm insane. Do you ever hear, Keith? Not, not recently, I haven't. No. Hi, Eric. Hi. Okay, look. Let's see. I keep getting tired by some strange... I know, right? Okay, look. Here's my travel coffee machine. I'm going to show you guys because somebody asked me. And I'm actually mental enough to show you. So it comes with two tops and I'm not paid for this. I'm just seriously sick in the head. It comes with two tops. I use, where is my little thing? I use the original Nespresso capsules. It has one where you can put your own scoopy stuff. Ashley, you would love this. So I put this in like this, in the little top. I screw it in the little basket. Seriously, I have water in the top here and I screw, <laughs> screw it in here and then it comes with this little cap. I have to show you guys like I'm crazy. I have to show you. Okay, so so it's going to heat up with the lights. I don't know if you can see. Oops. Okay, so it'll start heating up and it'll make another beep. It'll go through all those four lights. So, no, I'm not getting paid. I'm not getting paid for this. I actually just fucking love this thing. So, now I must drink coffee. <laughs> but wait, it's going to heat up. When it hits the fourth one, I'll show you. Then I'll show you my car milk frother. I seriously have paid this off. I How much? Do you? Oh, my God, 300 a month. Are you kidding? It's a car payment. So, no, I just, I haven't had Starbucks now. I'm like literally have this in my car. So, when I went over to see Baby Meadow... I made some for Kenna and I. Yes, I made some for Kenna and I. I'm like, here, let me make you some. So it'll just take its time. If you heat the water, it goes quicker. So I have a car kettle. 
because I'm also crazy. I have a car kettle. Yeah, no, I'm waiting for it. Wait till it goes. It'll beep and then it'll pop and then it'll come out of here and you'll see it. And then we'll do them. It's a great gift. It's I, I've used it like every day. I've used it every day. So yeah, hold on. We're waiting for it to catch up. Takes maybe two minutes if it's not hot. I The water was not boiling, so that's why. Oh, you're turning 57. Paula, welcome to the world. We're born the same year. Yes, I'm definitely saving money. I know Meadow's so cute. She smiles. It's really cute. So she's so cute, little Meadow. It's going. We're waiting. Maybe the battery ran down, but we're waiting. And you will see. And it will go beep. Anyway, I did it. See, it's still flashing. You wait till it hits the fourth light. And when it, so it's heating the water up right now inside the little thing. I got it online at Amazon. I was Googling like uh, camping espresso machines. Yeah, I put the pot in and it works. Although it doesn't appear like it works right now because it's on camera. I'm waiting for the last button and it'll go beep. It'll go beep and it'll go. And it was so fun. Y'all, Kenna like liked the coffee. Now it's getting annoying. Oh no, it's heating up. I can hear it. The water's heating up. So it's called an Uten. O-U-T-I-N. And no, I'm not getting any money for this. I don't even care. I love this thing. So I can hear the water boiling. You put water in the top here. Take that off. You put the water in and it heats it. So this is going from... Oh, there. We're going to go in a second. So I'll show you and it'll start. It'll just go. I hear it boiling. Okay, I know. I'm driving you crazy, y'all. But you have to see this. <laughs> I feel like a drug addict showing you how like I shoot up here. But anyway, seriously. Yeah. Uh, you should set up an Amazon store. I can't do anything. I can barely get my own work done. I don't want to do an Amazon store, y'all. Oops. Shit. I dropped the napkin. Anyway, I know. Wait. <laughs> It's supposed to be, it's boiling. I can hear it. It might take two or three minutes. I put cold water in so you could see how long it takes. Apparently a little bit longer. Similar. Yeah, that exactly. That's a plastic cup. Yep, that's a plastic cup. Oh, it's Canadian Thanksgiving. Hi, you guys. Oh, look, watch. Yeah, seriously, watch. See, can you see? What is that? That is hot coffee. Check that shit out, y'all. It's hot coffee. Seri well, it's espresso, so the pods are espresso. See? Look at that. Like three minutes to heat the water up. Me in the car in a traffic jam in Los Angeles. Look. Look, look. So you get that much. And if you were, like, at a campsite and you had, like, um, um, I got to show you now the milk. So what does one do? If you had like hot water at a campsite or whatever, you just put the hot water in and it would go whatever. Okay, look. This is my... <laughs> look, we have milk in here. <laughs> I'm seriously mentally ill tonight. And this is my milk frother. Yeah. It's magic, isn't it? Okay, look, my milk frother, can you see it? It's frothing. Yeah, it's frothing for my little cappuccino. Here comes the foam, right? Oh my God, right? Look, it's frothing, y'all. The cat's looking at me like, not this again. Okay, can you see it? Froth the milk, look. Can you see the milk froth? So that's just how it works. Mm, delicious. So I'll just put this into my oh, cup. There you go. Look, y'all. Uh-huh. Okay, no more coffee for me tonight because I'm crazy. Okay? So good. Mmm. Uh-huh. <laughs> Mine has a frother in the kitchen. But, um... This one is for travel. And I literally took it hiking. And when I get in the car, I just do that. Do you ever put cinnamon? I haven't. I don't have that in my car. I need to put... I'm a car barista. So that's what I need to do. Yes. They're they're on Amazon. It's called an Uten. O-U... O-U... Here. 
I hope that doesn't leak. See it? O-U-T-I-N. Isn't that cool, y'all? Okay, I had to show you. We're over that now. All right. And then I've been drinking three of these a day. These have water in it. So I've dropped like four pounds doing that. That's what I've done. Are you enjoying your new home? Yeah, Sylvie, I am. I am. Milk frother for the bedroom. <laughs> um, exactly. In Italy, they drink coffee and lemon. Ooh, that sounds good too. That sounds so good. Um, yeah, so good. Yeah, no, Pat always asks about pronouns because she thinks it matters. No one gives a fuck. Well, I have my Nespresso, Espresso, whatever. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. I'll be up all night bouncing off the walls. No, I went, what it, you, see, oh God. when I hike in the morning early, I never can get Starbucks anyway because they're not open when I leave at two and three in the morning. So I always drink my Nespresso coffee at that time, right? And you just go like this and it goes back into your car, into your pur purse. I took it to an event and it was in my purse. That's right. I can sit outside on a bench and make my own coffee. Yes. All right. Um, okay. So, that is so rude, girl. Who's being rude? Pat, stop asking about pronouns. It's like you have a mental tick in your head. No one cares. No one cares. No one cares. Okay. Starbucks should be 24 hours. Technically, yes, it should be. But anyway... Look at they raised their prices again, $6 for what I drink, which is a double cappuccino. $6. Yes, I could get something cheaper. We all know this, but $6. No. No, can't do it. So anyway, that'll be like $300 a month for car payment or Meadow Fund, Fund for Baby Meadow. Pat must be a troll or a family member of mine whatever right whatever uh girl do you prefer hot drinks or ice i love hot drinks but i love ice drinks with a lot of ice so i have to have extra ice and everything but i also love hot drinks i go from hot to cold but this is uh i put these in the fridge and mm, i've been doing the celtic sea salt on my tongue water a lot of water and that's what i've been doing a lot of that yeah, Pat from Saturday Night Live, right? <laughs> exactly. The infiltration and can infiltration. I I can't. I just, I can't. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. I just don't know what to say. But what I was good, what I was going to say, have you thought? Yes, I have thought of going on Rumble. Absolutely. But seriously, I have to literally be able to get my phone working right and I have to sit and I'm a working psychic so a lot of people on YouTube do not work they say they don't do readings and they don't do stuff I'm a working psychic so I work every day so because yeah anyway so it's a lot um I have to teach myself everything I don't have any help a lot of people have health and managers I do not want any I do not want any I'm obsessed with the apple oat milk shaking oh that yes I'm not going to be obsessed with that stuff anymore. Celtic sea salt. Yeah, Phyllis, it's good, huh? Do you ever cover? Yes, I did cover the Watts case. Absolutely. I'm an artist, but I do retail too. We do have. The... Yeah, we have to pay. Absolutely. Absolutely. I'm paying two households. So I got two households going. So I'm constantly working. Um, yeah, I need to send you an actual <laughs> boob tube. Yeah, the boob tube. Uh, extra ice always. I don't know what it is with the extra ice. Me and Keith used to like extra ice. Jason doesn't like ice. I like extra ice. So, um, I, 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 the guy that kidnapped the girl in New York state, that seems very weird to me. Mm. It seems like I'm glad she's okay. I'm glad she's okay. There was a little girl. I love hazelnut coffee. Yummy. I have no thoughts on Israel, except that any war that anybody, I have no thoughts. I haven't even really read about it. I just heard about it this afternoon because I don't watch the news. Um, no, Ken is still on maternity leave. No, she's still on there. Um, any war that they have and fund is based on 
a political game for money. They do not care about anything. They do not care about your freedom. They do not care about your health. They don't care about Israel. Whoever's bombing them, they don't care about them. They don't care about anything except exploitation of you on a financial level. And if they can get that through a war, then that's what they do. They don't care. So I don't have an opinion on any war except that this... I did not come here to this planet and neither did any person in a war come here to have a government impose that on them when they're trying to live their life. It's appalling, outrageous, egregious, disgusting, and horrible, horrible, horrible. Absolutely, ab it, yeah, it's psycho. It is psycho. It's, I, I don't even know what to say to it. We're not coming here just to appease the government and work. Like, I mean honestly but yeah so it's i so for that i don't like but whatever their their reason is for having a war i don't believe it like whatever the reason is um let's see somebody wanted to get help i yeah i don't know how to let's see charlotte's kidnapping was for ransom they say it was for ransom but the guy doesn't look like he's got the fortitude to even think of that like no but it, what because the grandfather inherited money and the family had money it doesn't make any sense I don't believe anything they say. I don't believe that. Any idea about the thousand? No idea. I haven't looked at it yet. I will look it up. I have to look at it, but I have to do readings all week and then I have to make coffee in between. Um, but yeah, the only thing I did read was about the little girl, um, Uranus and Jupiter. I don't even pay attention to the transits anymore. I can't even do that. Did you hear a thousand people dead in an earthquake in Afghanistan? No, I didn't hear that. I well, because I didn't listen to the news, so I didn't. Um, yeah, well, I, I have to, Sylvia. I have to teach people how to help me. So it's hi, Bobby. It's like you miss my coffee making, Bobby. But I do have the milk frother here. Yeah, that's right, the car milk frother. Anyway, Tallulah's very scared of that. Uh, let's see. Uh, that looks disgusting. I had to eat that off of there. Okay, so it won't possess me to just do that. Um, I don't know what possessed me to do that. The little girl, no, I have, I have not looked at the eclipses yet. The eclipses only affect you if they are close to where you are logistically. If And I have not even looked to see where they are and looked to see what they're in. I have to do a video. I know it's on the 14th. I don't even know what day this is. I think it's the 8th. So I know they're on the 14th. So um, yeah, no, I go to see Meadow every day. But what I'm saying is I'd have to sit down and teach someone how to help me with my work. And I cannot, I don't have time. Because by the time I get in in the morning at 9, I'm on the phone. So I'm on the phone from 9am and I usually don't finish working until like 10 at night. So it's constant. Um, and it's stressful. And then I have to exercise and take care of myself because that's what I have to do. What's the karma of having your child taken away from you by the mother? I don't know that there is a karma. People are dicks. I don't know that there's a karma. I really don't. Um, 140. I don't know what that is, Abby. I don't know. I don't know what I don't know what that price is. I paid an American, so I don't know. Thank you, S.E.K., uh corpus christi at 12 noon well then bobby yeah there you go i'm i'm gonna look into it i will look into it um i 14th is your son's birthday well he'll probably be affected by it but i will look into it um i've got to do a video on it i just have to sit down to do it so i don't even want to answer till i've looked into it because i don't even know what we're talking about I know the eclipse is there. I don't read transits all the time because i can't stand it um how can the mother not have the child Oh, because they always take the child. All men, okay, not all men. A lot of men threaten to take your child away. Here's what I say to people. If you have a child, even if the mother's a dick or the dad's a dick, you have a right to raise your child. No parent has more of an authority over the child unless they are doing drugs or sexually abusing the child or whatever. Um, so, yeah. But the little girl, the only thing I read was the little girl... She was five, and I don't know where it is. Anyway, her mom sent her away out of the house. She's fucking five, 
and she was staying in a homeless encampment, okay? It was, it was a homeless encampment. Yeah, if the father hits a child, but I'm really going to ask you, all of us have had children. We've all swatted our children. I mean, maybe there's the odd one that hasn't, but mine almost got beat every time I got my period, okay? Like, I chase them down the street, screaming at them. Did you guys, um, the little girl, she was five, and the mom sent her out, sent her away, and she went, and the 25-year-old murdered her, raped and murdered her. That is inexcusable. Where is social services? We pay for these people. These people are our employees. That's what these people are. They're not, they're not doing us any fucking favors. Our tax money pays for those people. And they don't even, ha like, I don't even understand. Um, yeah, there you go. Never had, yeah, till they're adults. Exactly. So I know, I know. Lied in for somebody 20 or... Yeah, well, I know that, Beth. I'm talking about when the kids are little. Like, the first thing is, if your kids are little, like, you can go to court and you can say, if there's a problem, what the problem is. And you can stop people from kidnapping your kids, as in at least legally documented. I mean, these people that take those kids off to Russia or wherever they take them, the Middle East. I mean, I don't even know what to say, but I don't know what to say. And a lot of men will... A lot of people will turn a child against one or the other parent. You just have to know that eventually, I guess, they'll see themselves. Um, there's a family in my blog. Three children, oldest seven. They're outside by themselves wandering. Yeah. Oh, I bet. I bet. I spoke to... I, oh, I got gotcha. you. Yeah, thanks, Peter. I don't know what you spoke about. Thankfully, I was... Yeah, well, you were, that's good. Now the dad's using either money or control or something. Um, told my two kids not to eat mom's food. Yeah, people do all kinds of shit. They do all kinds of shit to fuck with people. It always goes back on them, though. It does go back on them. Like, the, it really does. It really does go back. Like, if you do that to a child and you destroy them by by destroying the other parent, it will come back on you. Um, I don't know that I'd call DCF exactly. Maybe ask the kids if they want to play in your backyard. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Um, you know. The dad thinks it's okay. I don't know how old they are. I don't know if they can't be outside. Maybe they're outside in the house. I know what you're saying, though. How weird is the ransom note? Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. I mean, he doesn't look cognitive enough to do deal with that. Uh, my mom used to whip me with a switch. Yeah. I don't know what you needed to hear, but uh, yeah, no, it does come back on you. Um, and it's not karma, it's balance. Like it is karmic balance, but you cannot do something. And especially when you think about it, when a child grows up and they realize they've been alienated by one parent for another parent, it's a huge problem. Like it's a huge problem, huge problem, right? I bought the travel machine online at Amazon. It's called an Uten. It was like a hundred bucks, but I did buy it. And I'm sorry, but I spent 300 at Starbucks. So yeah, too much. I got sick of being an addict. I'm still a coffee addict, but I'm in control of my coffee and I'm in the car with it. So I don't have to go through the drive-thru. So sometimes I just let go of things and I just don't want to do it anymore. So that's how it works for me. I don't need to stay a slave to something. And I love the coffee thing because when I go to see Baby Meadow and they don't have their espresso machine, I can make espresso out of here. Having lived in, I agree with this message. I don't know what message, but, um, oh, you mean with the coffee message in the car? Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. So I need to hear it. Oh, it does. It does come back on them. It does. It does. It does. I've heard parental is rampant. Of course it's rampant. Everybody thinks they own the child and they don't. That coffee machine's already paid for itself. Oh, Debbie, you're turning 70 on the 12th. Fantastic. I do like the color green. I like blue, greens. I used to love pink, but I like blue and greens now. Um, yeah, so I know I'm a barista. Yeah, Starbucks baristas. I love my Starbucks baristas, especially in my old neighborhood. That Starbucks is so sweet in Sunland. They're so sweet, y'all. Um... Oh my God, my next birthday in May, I'll be 50. Well, I'll be 58 on my next birthday, but I just turned 57. I can't even believe it. I look in the mirror and I'm like, I have no eyes left. Like they used to be big and now they're 
gone. So we age. Okay, what do y'all think? Totally getting shallow here. Um, your coffee machine appears. Yeah, it is green, Peter. It is. They only had a choice of white or green. And since it's like I'm hiking, when I go on the tram, I can carry this up. You know, when I get to the tram and get coffee. Yeah, baby. <laughs> 68, Donna. Easy. Yes. Um, but the Hollywood David McCollum passed you. Did you get... No, I haven't. I, I will have to, um, I have to look. What life path am I? Of course I'm a nine. Why wouldn't I be a nine? Who wouldn't be a nine? I'm a nine. No, it's green, Peter. It's green. See? Green. This is the best little invention, and it plugs into a car charger. Fucking amazing. Okay. So... Anyway, karma, yeah, no, it's alive. Yeah, I know. It, but what I mean by that is whatever you extend outwards, if you, that's why I call it balance. And I am so sore in my stomach from climbing up that rope, Russian climbing that I cannot do that all the little girls in my climbing class can do. It is so hard. And that pole bruised my boobs. Oh my God. Anyway. So what do we all think of Pammy not going with makeup on? Do we like it? Do we not? Hello, Keith. I love the name Keith. You know this. What do we think? You and Lila used to hit. It. Yeah, In-N-Out Burger. Me and Lila loved In-N-Out Burger. She forgets. She loved two fries. And she'd get animal style, no bun. And then she would get a milkshake. Neapolitan. Um, so cute. Yeah. So cute. One time she said, literally, let's go in that that spot right there. I said, if we jump 40 cars, we will get killed in our car. They will kill us. Um, yes, people can cast curses. You like makeup. Yeah, I think Pamela looks like we all look without makeup. I don't think she necessarily looks good or bad. She just looks like we all look without makeup. She looks okay. <laughs> she doesn't look great or not great. I mean, in order to be beautiful with makeup, you have to be beautiful to begin with, okay? So, like, makeup cannot make an ugly person attractive. It can make them presentable. But Pamela was always attractive. So, yeah. I'm a triple Leo with everything in the 12th house. And then um, Pluto in the first and Uranus in the first. Saturn in the eighth. That should explain. I love not wearing makeup. Yeah. I wear, I've wear. i always worn makeup since I'm 12. I like it. So, um absolutely like it love it i don't wear a lot of makeup but i do i wear a lot of makeup i love makeup i mean this this is i do this is my day-to-day -day style it's the same shit i always wear different colors you know whatever i'm a pisces and that's all i know yeah your time right i like pamela she's but yeah i'm saying she looks like we would all look without makeup never worn makeup wow 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 that's interesting never worn makeup that's pretty cool Pretty cool. I just bought lipsticks. Yeah, I just love the, I just love makeup. I love bleach. I love, I'm a girl girl. I love nails, bleach, hair, makeup, all of that. I don't wear makeup. Yeah, makeup, I wear a ton. I love wearing a ton of makeup. A shit ton. Well, I put a lot on in the middle of the night, then I go to sleep, and then I get up and I go hiking. So when I take pictures, I have makeup. And I carry lip gloss when I'm hiking. Because when I get to the top, I want, um, you know, I put the lip gloss if it's this color on my cheeks in there because I look haggard. Um, oh, Klaus Swab. Fucking fuck off and die. Uh, yeah, I love makeup. My brows disappeared. You know what? I got the powder ombre brows and I love them. I love lipstick. I love powder ombre brows. So that's kind of, it's not microblading, but they kind of tattoo it on a bit. Mine's coming off. It comes off in like two years. So I go for touch-ups. Yeah, I love, fall. you know, false eyelashes. Kenna's got to teach me how to do that. As long as there's no color on the shelf, there will be no gray in my hair. <laughs> yeah, well, gray will be okay in my, well, it doesn't come in gray. I still have dark coming in. Anyway, gray will be okay because with blonde, you can kind of blend it. So I'm waiting for that. I'm waiting for that. Um, okay, I have dark hair and fair skin, so a bit of makeup is good. Yeah, fabulous. Uh, yeah, if I've seen you on some daytime shows. Yeah, I used to be on daytime shows. When you try to tell the young kids, I'm like, I used to be on camera, and they're like, what camera? <laughs> I'm like, 
traditional. And they're like, what's that? And I'm like, yeah, not TikTok. And that's what that is. Um, no, what I was group home and another girl assaulted the house mother and ran away. I just missed that. Uh, the false eyelashes give me trouble. They do. They give me a lot of trouble, the false eyelashes. <laughs> I glue my eyes shut. Kenna's going to show me how to do it, she said. Um, yeah, I don't see any. I don't have blonde. I mean, gray. I have my whatever. The, who knows? I fell asleep on my hair wet. I've been going gray since I was 13. Yeah, you know what? Sometimes that happens. My aunt was gray at like 25. I'm bald eagle without false eyelashes. Oh yeah, that happens. I have, I'm not wearing any, but I wear a lot of mascara. I don't do the lash extensions because I just don't like the idea of them sewing shit into my eyes. Uh, I don't like glue on my lids. Yeah, it kind of freaks me out. Anytime I wear them on a TV show, I start picking while the camera's on. <laughs> pick, pick, pick. Um, pick, pick, pick. Uh, yeah, so yeah, Ken is going to teach me because she's a makeup artist, so I have no clue what I'm doing. Yeah, I don't even know what's happening in Israel. I have to research it. Grandmother, 25. Because I don't watch the news. And I'm literally, I cannot watch the news. Try cluster lashes. I will try that. I know the government bombs whatever they need to bomb in order to extort, track, steal, rape, and pillage whatever place it is. Yeah, this is just mascara. I don't have false ones, so... And mascara sometimes drives me crazy. Um, what they did in the Ukraine and Maui in Israel. Okay, yeah, there you go. That's terrible. Yeah, the world does this. Thank you for that, Roscoe. Roscoe, Ros Ro Roscoe Rossi. Um, chicken and waffles. Roscoe's chicken and waffles. Sorry, I said it. Uh, but magnetic ones. Yeah, I've heard about those. Yeah, what I was going to say, I forget what I was going to say. Mm, I forget. Uh, yeah, I mean, I exactly. Maui, I, somebody said something to me about Maui, and I just was like, they were murdered. And they looked at me like, I'm like, are you stupid? Like, I can't. I just can't. Like, if you don't know, if you don't know, I don't know what to say if you don't know. I just don't know what to say. Of course they were massacred. That's what they like to do. They like to kill people. And then they like to blame other people. Hi, Manitoba. Hi, Rusty in Manitoba. Then they like to blame other people for their murder. It's disgusting. It's really disgusting. It's horrible. Um, I can feel the timelines changing right now. And that's what I want to talk about. I can feel the timelines changing because it's literally, um, no, I've never wanted to visit the pyramids. I don't even want to go to the Middle East. Probably because I'd get murdered there, I'm thinking. Don't even want to go to Mexico anymore. Because I'd probably get murdered there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Yeah, they, of course they can do it to any of us. They do that to all of us. We are all being told what we should do. We are all being told what we should do. Ontario. There you go. Ontario, Canada. It's your guys' Thanksgiving. Yeah, I feel that there's a timeline change because immediately I stopped with certain things, certain people, and that's it. Stop. Done. Um, so I can feel the change. So everybody's going again on different timelines, I think. I think that's what's happening. I think that's what's going on because I can feel them shifting. So I'm originally from Timmins, Ontario, but in Cranbrook, BC. How interesting. I know Timmins and Cranbrook. Uh, yeah, well... Thank God I'm Canadian and I'm not American. That's right. I'm not American. Mm -hmm. I travel on a Canadian passport. Because they don't want to kill Canadians. They do want to kill Americans. Um, they do want to do that. <laughs> That's what they want to do. Yes, they do. We have timelines. Well, how do we, you can feel the timeline shift. You just immediately stop wanting to talk to someone or stop wanting to be around somebody. Um, no, I don't have a dual citizenship. I'm not a citizen of America. I never got my citizenship in America. I've been here 39 years, 38. I'm not a citizen. I'm a green card holder, not a citizen. It's really hard for me. They don't give out. I know everybody says they give out dual citizenships. I hear people blather all the time and I'm like, no, they don't. You have to make a decision by the time you're 18. And unless you're grandfathered in, I guess like from before. Thank you for that. Um, 
Yes, John's Canadian too. I've really only ever been with Canadian men. <laughs> I can find them in any country I go to. If there's a Canadian, I can hear the Canadian. I hear it. Like I because it's a similarity, I don't know what it is. And there are always older white Canadian men, you know. Um yeah, permanent resident. Mhm. Mm Exactly. Yes, yes. Uh, I think we are in hell. Yes, I think we're in hell too, Abby. Uh, they don't offer dual. American, Canada doesn't recognize America. They don't offer. Um, yeah, John's Canadian. He was born in Penticton. Y'all know where Penticton is. Uh, yeah, he was born in Penticton, raised in Vancouver. So uh, yeah, thank you. Um, yeah, so we're both and we met here. We met here. Our fathers worked together, which is weird because his father is like, he's so much older, but my father was in the same peer group as his father because I had a much older father. So it's really weird. And our mothers both had the same name. I'm dual too. Yeah. They don't, they keep saying dual. And I'm like, no, they told, I, we did it for Jason, but he had to pick by the time he was 18. And why is he going to pick to be Canadian when he's here? And I'm never going anywhere. Is anyone older than all of you? Susan, that's okay. We're going to get an 80-year-old on here. Um, it should be dual. Yeah, it should be dual with Mexico too, but it's not. It should be dual with all of them. It's North America. It should be dual. You're right about that. Yeah, my sons were born here. They're, they're, they're American. Yeah, they're, what, they're Glendale and Los Feliz. Keithy was Los Feliz. Jason was Glendale. Uh, Mary's 70 here. There's Mary. BC, Canada. There you go. My parents live in Penticton. Yeah, they probably know all the Bellas. Meaning there is a Bella Tire Shop, Bella this, Bella that. Lots of Bellas in Penticton. Uh, let's see. I'm half Mexican. I should. Yes, I'm saying. If Canadian and American should be dual, then Mexico and America should be dual. That's what I'm saying. Absolutely saying that. I, I have a problem and have always had a problem with God's planet being divided by man who decides where we live. So if you have the misfortune in living in an area like, I don't know, Africa, Haiti, in certain parts of it, where it's downtrodden, abused, and they rape the energy, not just the land, but the energy, you are stuck there because of these imaginary borders. I mean, come on now. You're stuck there. Like you're stuck there. What's that about? run to Sweden. <laughs> yeah, if I could get there. I see lots of hiking places in Sweden. Niagara Falls. Yeah, that's on the New York side. If you had to pick, I'd have to pick American because my children and grandchildren are here. So no matter where they live, no matter where I want to live, I'm not going to, I never have left my children. So I will never leave my children. So I would never go off on my own without being close by. Because I don't really have anything else but my children. That's at the end of a lifetime. It's my children and grandchildren. So, yeah, no, I, I don't believe in the board. I, I just never have. Like, I can remember. Uh, I'm sure Sweden is gorgeous, to be honest, the way Trudeau is doing things, being in Canada. Well, tr we, Trudeau is a socialist by nature and partial communist. I mean, people laugh at that as a little kid. I knew that because anytime you have a society that says we all deserve the same thing, you have socialism. If you have socialism, it takes away capitalism. I'm not saying all capitalism is good, but what I'm saying is if you take away the will of the people to achieve, then they're, they're going to be on a welfare system. And that's a huge problem in Canada, the welfare. So there's a huge, huge problem. <laughs> did you say sociopath? What about Trudeau? Sure did. Uh, yeah, no, I, I left. Um, welcome to Sweden. Oh, how nice. Santa, how nice. A room in Sweden. That sounds fun. San Marcos, oldest human settlements. What I'm saying is, man, the same ones that's starting all the wars, decided that they could charge money for people living Mexico, U.S., and Canada. Okay, it's one big line, except in Canada's the white border, meaning white, white flight. And it was pretty, actually, in Mexican's brown skin flight but they all connect in a line like that it's all north american so what's the problem what is the problem what's the problem what's the problem is it true sloan and kelly if you want to sell up and leave you have to pay 
I have heard that's true. I don't really know. I mean, in the end, if you don't want to follow rules, you just put your taco stand on the street like they do in L.A. You don't have to pass any uh, health laws. You can just cook food with no bathroom there. So where are you washing your hands? Just asking. And you can pull a truck up. You don't pay taxes on it because they don't take credit cards. You put your tent next to it. They they put up these big, I mean, it, it you'd be surprised what you see. That's what you do. You just go live in a fucking tent. And then I, part of me understands what people are doing. They're saying fuck society because society, they're charging you for water. You realize California will go broke on the water because they took our water and they hijacked it out of here. They don't own the water. They don't own the water. They may own the water processing plants, but they don't own the water. Nobody owns the fucking air, okay? Nobody owns the air. They try to say they own everything. This is their dumb... They don't. They don't. So, no. Uh-uh. Exactly. Living in Canada, it's Halloween every day. <laughs> that just made me laugh. Um, but I love Canada's... You know, I love the texture. When I go home, I love that. I just love it, you know? Exactly. I love going home. I love going home to Canada. It does energetically feel correct to me. And I don't know why I came to the U.S., but I did. I just was hightailed it here. And they stopped us and held us up. Yeah, I get stuck. John and I get stopped every time we go into Canada. Every fucking time. And we get stopped coming back into the States. Every fucking time. Going in and going out. This time I forgot my green card. I brought the old green card. And so they pulled us over and I was thinking, neither one of us said it. We were both thinking, well, you don't have any border rules coming from Mexico. Why do you want to stop us here when you already know that I have an expired green card? Obviously, I have another one. I just forgot it because I'm fucking stupid. But anyway, um, we got we get caught always in Canada. They're like, why are you coming in? I'm like, because my passport says I was born here. What are you doing? Um, visiting family. Where are you staying? I mean, they're just like... I'm coming to visit family. That's what I'm coming to do. So, Kelly's supposed to be cracked off the mantle and give Arizona beer. <laughs> I wish. I wish it. All these people have been threatening that shit since I was a little... I have no thoughts on Israel. I haven't even looked into it. I literally just heard about it a couple of hours ago. I do not watch the news. Because all they do is try to make us afraid. And, I'm, you know, they're going to bomb what they bomb. Because it's about money. And the government can stop every single one of these wars and they choose not to. They cause them and they choose not to stop them. And it's horrific for the people involved. That much I will say. Um, I'm sure Japan does. I'm sure. Stop the deal. Yeah, I just can't. How many Canadians up in here? Many Canadians. And they don't care who... No, they don't care who they are. It's all for money. They think their money is precious. I hope when they're on their deathbed and they're pulled out of their body... I really hope they eat shit on their way across. I really do. I've noticed noticed a lot of hate towards me in one particular place these days. Really? Oh, my God. Good question. Um, has the Canadian Border Control conducted a physical exam on you? Something that scares me. Um, no, but they pulled our car across once, and the guy was like, this was the la 2011, I think. There was like some kind of like excedrin under the car seat. Keep in mind, we had a rental car. Um, so Sloan, you need money to go to school. Who needs money to go to school? Yes, people need money. Anyway, the guy was like, what's this? And I'm like, it looks like an excedrin. I'm very sarcastic. I can't help it. I, my sarcasm is out of control. People hate my guts, especially, and I have a problem with authority because you're not my authority. And I don't mean that, that I'm going to go do anything, but you're not my fucking authority. I will respect you as long as you don't talk stupid to me because you have authority. I don't like you if you're that. I think that's ugly too. I don't know what's ugly. Mm. And there you go. Yeah. I don't, yeah. I don't know any of that stuff, whatever, but... Um, yeah, I'm not, they're not my authority. They are civil servants is what they are. And the word is servant. So watch how you fucking speak and watch what you do and watch the attitude. Now, because there's so many like cartel, but they let the cartel in. So stop acting like we're the cartel. <laughs> they letting the cartel in. They know who the bad people are. They know. 
they know who the bad people are. You know what I mean? Uh, no, I ha I've got to read Haley. I, I can't say that last name. I will. Generation. Yes, I'm generation. I'm very fucking sarcastic. I don't like authority. You do not have authority. Many times I've said you do not have authority over me. God is my authority. You are not God. I'm not here to play your fucking human game. I don't believe like you believe. I don't believe like it. I just don't. They want you to be, let's see, I will be obedient to authority as long as they're trying to say or do what is fair. Yeah, I don't, I, I, I can't be obedient to anybody. I'll listen to them and I'll decide for myself what the fuck I want to do. That's it. I mean, I literally can't be obedient. I'm not, I'm not anyone's fucking dog. I'm not going to be, a, people treat their dogs better than these people treat people. So I, you know, I don't even know what to say. Say. I'm sarcastic as shit. Sarcasm. And I'm rude as shit. And people, you know, the younger generation just looks at you like they're all like, they, I, I don't know what it is. It's like, uh, yeah, I don't know. Anyway. Yeah. I speak sarcasm. I can't help it. Navigating through the visa papers from Canada to England is a nightmare. I can imagine. I can imagine. I always hated the work. Obey. Yeah, I didn't put obey in my wedding vows. I'm, I'm not going to fucking obey you. I don't have to. Oh, 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 geez. Thanks for letting me breathe. Let me obey you. Go fuck yourself. No. Needle with HIV. I don't know. Okay. Anyway, uh, gingerbread. Oh, that's good, Bobby. Yeah. Uh, authority and control are different. People wanting power over others and controllers not. Yes, exactly. I understand if you go to court, there's a judge. I get that. And I get that you just can't go in there and go all willy nilly all over the place. But I also don't like the attitude. Like, again, they're public servants. So you're a public servant. I don't care who the fuck you think you are. So, and it's obey close. <laughs> <laughs> obey makes me want to yeah obey makes me want to blow it on up blow it on up i turned 60 oh my goodness yes um yeah what i want and let's see and say what i want when i want i've always said what i want when i want i've always said what i want when i want and people do not like it they will punish you they will hurt you they will threaten to take your kids. They will call you all kinds of names. They will do all kinds of things when you speak the truth. But, you know, I don't even know what to say. I'm sure England is beautiful and Wales is beautiful. Yeah. I'm an anarchist at heart. I'm all like, you want to come? You want to change the law? I think like an anarchist. I, I've been told that many times. I think physical power of the people take over everything and fucking take over everything take over everything don't listen to anybody throw them all out by their asses just pick them up and throw them out that's what my problem is there you go uh i feel we don't mean it i feel we say and but we don't mean it okay that's so true oh no you're always punished for being truthful so when you are astrolog i am astrologically of uranus in the first house I most certainly am. <laughs> I have Uranus and Pluto in the first house. I'm, I'm militant and actually will refuse to, and even get myself thrown in jail at the refusal of certain things. If I have to kiss your ass to avoid something that I know what you're telling me is wrong, that really bothers me. So I have Uranus in the first house. Yes, Uranus. Which is Aquarius ruled. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it rules Aquarius. I said that backwards. Happy birthday, 42. Um, I won't give it a rest for being right. Yeah, even though I know to repeat it. Many comments are flying at once. Yeah, I can't see all the... Because I can't turn this the right way. Yeah. Anyway, uh, Uranus. The planet Uranus in the first house. Astrology. Uh, sun, moon, and Mercury in the 12th. I have all of those things in the 12th. It's wherever, wherever your placements are, sun, moon, Mercury, whatever houses they live in, the undercurrent of that house takes effect as well as the sign that that house is in. In other words, the 12th house is a Piscean ruled house and therefore takes on the undercurrent of Pisces energy because it's the 12th house. So even if you have an Aries sun, but it's placed in the 12th house, it has a Piscean demeanor underneath. So a Piscean demeanor is because that's the natural house of Pisces, even if it's in Aries or Taurus or Virgo or Capricorn. It doesn't matter. So um, Uranus in which I, 
Oh, I somebody has Uranus in aspect. I'll be 41 Saturday. Good. Well, you'll have an eclipse birthday. I have to do a video on the eclipse and I have to actually look at what's going on. I have not. 55. I have not looked at anything. I have been trying to catch up with my work. So if I'm behind, don't yell at me. On my um, email reports, apparently some people didn't get the reports. If you didn't email me because we're sending out the reports, we had a technical difficulty. Uh, no, Sloan, I mean you. Oh, you mean me? I don't have Uranus on Venus. I have Venus in Cancer and it's conjunct Mars. So, you know, I'm an aggressive bitch. Um, yeah. And it's trining Saturn. So what is your natal aspect? I No, I don't have Uranus and Venus in aspect at all. Mm -mm. I have nothing aspecting except that it's in the first house conjuncting the second house cusp. I have not seen any UFOs. Aren't there two eclipses? Yes, I do know that. I have a strong soul, but I'm a softy too. Yeah, at this point, I don't even care what I am. I, I don't know what I am. <laughs> Happy birthday, 10. 10 tomorrow, 10, 10. Um, yeah, exactly. My Mars and Venus are both in Cancer. Yeah, it's a horrible placement. Venus in Cancer is just horrible, horrible. Um yeah, show me your papers. Fuck you. Um, <laughs> Mew is sitting right back here licking herself. I have Uranus at 29 degrees in the seventh house. Well, good luck to you with relationships. And <laughs> um, do I feel I'm changing? No, I've always been this way. But um, I, of course, I changed after Keith died. That's really the impetus in my life is that Keith died. So. Anything I am now is a result of experiencing that, really. Um, <laughs> that's what it is. But the obnoxious me has always been obnoxious. This part of me has always been me, Capricorn Venus. It's good. I like being alone. Exactly. Relationships are overrated. They're very overrated. Lilith in Cancer. Depends where the Cancer placement is. Um, we got kidnapped. I'm positive we got kidnapped. Positive. My... My Venus is in Cancer, too. Yeah, it's shitty, shitty, shitty. I feel like changing during COVID, yeah. Um, thank you, Peter. Yeah, I feel like I am obnoxious, but what about Lilith in the first house? Well, that's directed at the self. Self, at the self. Um, first house is always self. Your ascendant is you. That's the first part of how you get here, the development of you. The so if you look at astrology, the first house is the essence of you. You are born and you reflect a personality. That shows in the first house. The second house is your ideology about that personality. In other words, the, 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 way, the way that you think about that. The third house is the way that you communicate. The fourth house is the way that you nest and build, etc. And it goes on like that. I have Mars in the, four, in the first. Aggressive. Aggressive, Mars and Libra. Mars and Libra has to watch it because it's a passive aggressive and it can be angry, but that's okay. We're all angry. Um, let's see, Sloan, if you met a nice new guy, I bet you'd keep him a secret. I don't give men a chance to come around me. I screamed at a guy hiking who <laughs> kept asking me out like three times, some random guy, and I said no three times. And I said, I fucking hate men. I will never date a man. And he still asks after that. I'm like, okay, you're psychotic. But yeah, no, I wouldn't. I, I have no reason to give. I don't need a man. Most women date because they need one. Or they want to have a companion. I get all of that, but that's not my thing. Not my thing. Mm -mm. Because they just take your money, steal your shit, scream at you, jealous of you, whatever it is. No, thank you. Uh, Mars and Cancer. Yeah, Mars and Cancer is horrific. Look at the kind of men you pull in. Yeah, see, Lisa, you understand. Um, you absolutely, I know people think that that's not true, but I was married 36 years. So I have had a man. I don't need another one. <laughs> like I'm, I, I'm fine. I, I could drop dead tomorrow. I'm fine. I don't want to find a relationship. What I want to find is I want to complete my work, raise my grandchild, children, you know, be there for as long as I am till I die. And that's that. That's about it. That's about what matters to me. Actually, nothing else matters to me, really. And if I could go back, I wouldn't even care about getting divorced. I'd just stay with Keith so that I could stay with Keith. Um, Mew is American. She comes from Paige's family. They're American. 
<laughs> They're American. No, I don't need a man. I don't, I don't need one. So I don't know what to do with them. Like, I don't need your money. I don't need you to fucking talk to me. I don't need to ask your permission. I don't need to have a, my biggest problem with getting married is two people had to communicate. What do you think about doing this? No, what do you think about? I don't care what you think about it. I'm going to do what I want to do. So there's that. <laughs> there's that. <laughs> I don't care. Um, you know, I don't even care. Yeah, I don't even care. Mars in the seventh house, good or bad for relationships. It's fighting in a relationship. Mars is warrior. Mars is the warring planet. Wherever Mars is, there's a war there. Depending on what sign it's in, then you have your degree of aggression. You know, yeah, a lot of people feel this way. You were a single man. Yes, I was very single. Well, I did everything myself anyway because he wasn't interested in doing what I was doing. I mean, he will do it. But, yeah, they're too stressful. I can't. I honestly can't deal with them. I just want to love up my grandbabies and that's good. Try to, you know, whatever. I have Neptune at 29 degrees. Well, that's an important degree. I'm all water signs. Are women stressful? I'm sure women are stressful. I'm not wanting to date one of them either. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, how do I know? I couldn't even imagine, honestly, like sitting at a dinner with somebody I didn't know and talking to them. <laughs> I'd be like, I've got nothing to say. Because you don't want to let people know about you because they'll use it against you. That's how I feel. They'll use it against you. Like when I was 21 and dating John, I didn't know that. You never tell your, you never tell your background because they'll fucking use it against you. They will use it against you. They will attack you and harangue you with it and never tell them your insecurities, your dreams, nothing because they'll fucking steal your dreams. Use your insecurities against you. No, just you can't have conversations with people. They will use shit against you. No, um, absolutely no. No, no, no. <laughs> no, um, yeah, no, I just... I, I don't know. I just feel like my advice to anybody dating is to make up a character and tell them about that. Never let a man know your, never let them know your truth because they'll fucking use it against you. Yeah, they'll use it the hell against you. My biggest mistake was wearing it. Yes, never. Never tell them, oh, I think I look fat. My ass is fat. I hate my nose. I hate my hair. I hate my, whatever. Never fucking tell them that. Never. How about tips for dating women? Don't tell them shit. They'll use it against you. People are fucking gross. We shouldn't be in relationships. I don't know how this planet has gotten this way. But first of all, we're not meant to be with people our whole lives. We're forced into that. Like what? You can't change and grow? No. Because they'll take your kids from you. And they'll threaten you. And if you don't have money, you're not getting your kids. So you're just going to suck wind and stay with your kids. That's it. Uh, how to get rid of a woman that won't leave, that won't quit abusing you. You know what? That's fucked up. Fucking bitch ass woman. Okay, first of all, here's what you do. This is what I have found. So if the woman won't leave you and she won't shut the fuck up, right? Because she's an asshole and she says shitty things. Say to her, I don't want to be in a relationship with you. If you have property, you probably have to split it or something like that. If you don't own anything together, pay for her to get an apartment and pay two months and move her out. Just say, I'm going to do this to cover you and leave. Sometimes we have to eat shit financially to chew our arms off to get out of a relationship. Just do that. You know? Mm-hmm. And if she's abusive, this is what you say. Well, I went through things where if they said, like, things to me, like, you're a fucking bitch or whatever, you know, you're a whore, I would say, I know you are, but what am I? And I would leave the room. If they, I don't take, per, anybody says anything, I don't take personal what you do, but I take note of what you do and you won't see me around you. So I wouldn't be around them. I would, and if you rent an apartment, go rent somewhere else. Start saving your money and you leave. I mean, I know it's terrible. People don't want to have to do that, but sometimes you have to do it to get out of something. You have to hide your money in a shoe in your closet. You have to go keep looking to rent. No, in the back of your mind, you're leaving. And while they open their mouth to keep, abusing you just say yeah you're gonna eat those words and you leave that's it i don't know who the god of the bible is <laughs> people don't get the opportunity yeah exactly yeah so you just have to do i had a plan and everything when i yeah i had a plan too too many times I, I i can't as soon as somebody says something to me i'm like so noted not talking to you as soon as they try to take from me 
And this happens with friends, too. It's not just relationships. It's pretty much people. Um, yeah, it's pretty much people. It's, it's People are weird. But if I catch you trying to copy me, take from me, do shit to me, be me, use my stories, use my life, take my shit, I'm out. I'm gone. Bye-bye. Um, yeah. Oh, my God. I have so many friends and family. Yes, I, that's what I'm saying. We just timeline shifted. I'm stuck sleeping in my truck while I live in my house and pay. Oh, I pay. For, hold on. Come back here. Come back here. I pay. Wait. Pay for with not enough income to do anything about it. Okay. Save our bees. Here's the next thing. When you say they live in my house, you mean the girl and your kids? Because if they're your kids, they have a right to your house if they're minor. Okay. So you do have to support them. If it's her and she's in your house, I understand. I ate dinner in my car for a good five years. Um, I understand because I couldn't listen. Um, I couldn't listen when I got home. I just couldn't listen to being, you know, whatever. Anyway, um, what I would do then is I would actually find out my legal rights to the house. And I would probably, you're probably going to have to go through a divorce and you, or whatever and split the house. I mean, but if you have kids involved, the kids should be in the house. That's all I can say. The kids deserve to be taken care of because they didn't ask to be here, in theory. Um, yeah, so there's that. Okay. I'm going to keep it going. Why is this? Oh, so that's what I think. Save our bees. Can you apply for it? Yeah. Or get a second job. Just get a lawyer. Yeah, you know, Jen, Jen, <laughs> Jen's like, Jen's like, excuse me get a lawyer. Yeah, you're right about that. But even I got a lawyer and it took, we just got divorced like three years ago and I had to acquiesce and give him everything he wanted or he keep fighting me. So there are people that will do that. Um, I'm weird. I know you're not weird. You didn't buy into the marriage. I wish I hadn't gotten married. I, that's not to say I wouldn't have kids and that's not to say I wouldn't be around, but I honestly wish I'd never gotten married because it's just, it's legally binding and it's horrible. Okay, it's horrible. I understand. Yeah, no damn. Let's see. Good idea. Let's see. Cry about it later. Sorry. Okay. Kids first. Yeah. Kids first always. Kids deserve a home. They deserve to be in a home. They deserve to be in a home. Sadly, many cannot. Well, I had to pay. No, sadly, you can't. Yeah, I had to pay for a lawyer and pay off and pay off. And he gave me good deals, like meaning he wrote off a lot of what I did because I couldn't pay. I just, I went all my money. The other thing, uh, yeah, coffee jar inside a rubber boot. Kept money. I kept it in a purse, in a pocket. I kept it all over in different spots. Then I was paranoid someone would come in and rob the house and take my clothes. <laughs> take my money. Um, but, yeah, the divorce thing was interesting. So I agreed to let John stay in the house. I could have demanded the sale of a house, but because he's almost 78, I'm like, I'm not going to make him find a place to live at 78 so he got to keep the house and then I said the kids could move in the house because they have Lila and the baby so they can move in the house it's me that has to pay the outside rent and stay outside and do all of that um no I think John didn't want to let me go because you know when you have a dumb bitch at home that does everything to try to get attention meaning approval and, you know, love me. I want you to love me. And they won't do it. The dumb bitch will do everything. I considered myself a very dumb bitch that I stayed for that long. Because I should have set my boundaries. Really dumb. Dumb. Really. Dumb, dumb, dumb. Dumb. Because you can never make someone love you. So there's that. And when they don't, they don't. Uh, let's see. I have for the first time recently become a custom single for now. Yeah, uh, I don't want to date. I You just tried to make it. Yeah, I did, but it was really dumb. I did everything not to leave, and I still get blamed for leaving. And now I hear, I have to stay in the house. I have to be around the noise. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, okay, I didn't want to leave my house. So, yeah, I just, I didn't want to leave my house. I really didn't want to leave my house. And I decided to suck wind and eat shit and listen to the continued obnoxiousness so I could be around my kids. So I will kiss, I will eat dirt to be around my kids. But when you do that, they know you're a weak ass bitch and they're like, we can walk all over her because she's stupid. 
because she wants to be around us. You see what I'm saying? So it's a huge problem. Yeah, not having any close relationship. Well, go find one, Dave. Who's stopping you? <laughs> yeah, Bobby likes my cabin. I know, but I'm always with Meadow down there. I always go, okay, Dave, go find a relationship. Yeah, I, I feel like, um, no, I was dumb. Trust me, I know when I'm dumb, I wasted an entire life. That's about the dumbest thing you can do. I feel like I was a meth head, but I wasn't on meth. But I feel like I was a drug addict who wasted 30 years in jail and prison and on drugs and, you know, all. I feel like that. Like, what a waste when I should have been focused on other things. So I wouldn't do a dating app if you paid me. You have no idea what's going on with a dating app. Um, you have no idea. I fear for young girls. Why do you need a dating app? What kind of man goes on a dating app? A married man, so I hear from my client. Yeah, marriage is terrible. It's terrible. What a fucking terrible thing to do to somebody. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, I know. Well, whatever it is, I was dumb. Dumb, 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 dumb. Yeah, I just, yeah. Well, there you go, Carrie. You did it. Uh, okay, I just missed that. Let's see, four years feels like I'm on hold. Yeah, I'm on hold. Wasted so much money renting and can't wait to get back to LA. Yeah, it's a lot of money. I'm renting too. It's a lot of money, but you know what? I could die tomorrow, so I, I don't fucking care to own anything. I mean, I'll own something if I want to own something. I still own the house. I just can't get in my house. It is dumb. You, you're, you're actually, well, no, you're not dumb to love your family, but you're dumb to stay with your family at the expense of yourself because you desperately need to have a family. We are taught that that's important, and it is very important, but when they don't love you back or they don't like you back or whatever it is, so it's a difficult thing. Um, yeah, I did try to survive, and I was stupid, though. No, I shouldn't have got married. Who does that? Venus and Cancer is horrific and stupid. I miss naked tarot. <laughs> I don't even know where that tarot deck is after I moved. Yeah, I, I feel like, I feel like, yeah, I was 21, and so dating someone two decades out is ridiculous. It's stupid. I got married on my 21st birthday. Yes, you're the same as me. I got married at 24, but, or was it 23? 23 or 24. Uh, whatever. I'm all about doing in things in God's eyes. Yeah. Well, I don't think God said marriage. I really don't believe that. I don't think that's a God thing. There's no way marriage as it exists is a God thing. Mmm. Michelle, you understand. You understand. What are they holding these messages for review? Okay, someone's ear just, they, they're, they're trying to edit my things. I hate that. Yeah, it's a shame. If I could come back and do it again, I wouldn't, I would never, I mean, it's very important to work. But what I would do is, see, we're not supposed to work and not raise our kids. We're not supposed to be doing all the things they have us doing. It just causes problems. It just causes problems. It causes problems. You know what I'm saying? It causes uh, men in me will do. I just miss that. So it causes a lot of problem. 32 years, just like friends. Yeah, but see, why be married if that's your friend? Why have them the fuck around you? Oh. <laughs> I would not date ever. Yeah, I can't. I can't either. Probably didn't live very long in Jesus' time. Yeah, exactly. Correct. I met my husband 16. Oh, that's a lot. That's a lot. Yeah, you don't know what you're doing at 16. When I prayed to God to better my life, God sent me my wife. Well, that's a nice thing to say. Yeah, when I prayed to God to do better with my life, I'm still here. Anyway, um, unfortunately, but... Marriage is a oh god yeah, marriage is ter Mew is behind me. She's stuffing me up right now. Mew Mew, she's sitting right there. Um, finally, content took forever. Yeah, deeper relationships are from above. I wouldn't know. I've never had a deep relationship with anybody in my life. Uh, I've had relationships where I'm a maid, cook, clean, you know, buy groceries, take the kids, you know, the usual. That's what I've had. Um, have you seen a man on YouTube that calls himself Bella Sloan? No. 
I'm so sick of people copying me. Nobody's calling a man Bella Sloan. Like, just stop. I got in a fight with a woman on, on TikTok because she used Keith Bella. And she's like, um, she's like, that's my name. I'm like, first of all, no, it's not. And secondly, shut up. <laughs> And are here doing well. Why wouldn't I be doing... I did well everywhere. I can make money anywhere. That's not my problem. I've never had that. Um, they say imitation is flattery. It's not... I've never had that issue. I don't come in with a preconceived notion that it's hard to earn a living. I believe everybody is supposed to earn a living. You may not like what you're doing. That I can see. I can definitely see. But I don't have the same things that some people have. And I think that might be generational or the way you're raised. I was raised with people that had money. So I never thought that you couldn't have money, if that makes sense. I do know people don't have money. I'm well aware. But I can see them outside my house in their trailers. Um, stellium is four more planets in the same sign. Actually can be out of sign conjunction. Um, and... Uh, in the first house, that's about self. Your first house is about self. I put up boundaries, not allowing that. Yeah, I have boundaries. So I'm always wishing I met a fine woman and had a wonderful marriage, but it never happened. Yeah, well, you actually have to eat shit to get married. <laughs> because first of all, I mean, I married someone who can hardly tolerate me. And actually me, him, and that such a difference you think you're marrying them you have no fucking clue what you're marrying you do not know you don't know what they hide you don't know what they do you just learn and when you have kids you're not leaving so they could pretty much beat you you're probably not leaving it's very hard to leave so uh let's see i thought everyone was nice yeah i i now know that i have friends that smile at my face that are trying to fucking steal from me i don't even trust you if you say you're my friend i'm like i don't trust you all these mistreated wives and girlfriends. Of course, that's our society. That is our society. I'm looking up this Bella Sloan person. That's our society. Let's see. I don't... I don't see the person. Bella Sloan. Oh, Bella Sloan Enterprises. Um, yeah, Bella Sloan Enterprises. Is that who you mean? Yeah, I think I've seen that guy. It's always a Nigerian guy stealing our names. Same with Keith's name. Let's see. He's got 25,000 subscribers. Yeah, I have no idea. He's using... Yeah. He's a strange bird. A strange-o. Is Sloan stuck on anyone else? Am I stuck? Oh, God. Hi, Katrina. Hi, Katrina. Yes, uh, I know them people. Yeah, let's see. Hey. All right, you guys. Yeah, no, I think um, I think we even have to learn when my screen did that earlier. It's weird, right? I think we have to learn that even though people are our friends, will you get around to doing channel on? Yes, I'm going to try. You guys have to remember, I'm literally a working psychic. I work every day. A lot of people who do these videos on YouTube and TikTok, they don't actually, excuse me, how rude. Um, James Gandolfini, good. They don't actually work day to day. I'm a working psychic. Like, that's all I am. I just happened to start a YouTube channel. What's disturbing is you're totally yourself. <laughs> I know. I'm like, why do they copy me? Oh my God. Uh, well, no, I, I obviously I'm never going to kick any kids and babies out of my house. So I mean, you know, whatever. <laughs> I'm not going to kick kids out of my house. Um, yeah. So that's a, that's a whatever. Hi, Marla. How are you? Uh, Bear. Yes, John saw the bear. We cook salmon, and then John said, what's that coming down the street? <laughs> Thank you, Roscoe's waffles and chicken. I had to say it. I had to say it because it's a thing. Um, anyway, the bear, he came down the street, and John was looking out the window. The cat's looking out the window, and he's like, I said, that's it. And he shut the door, and he sat on the couch, and he watched it go by the front window, looking for the salmon, of course, because they can smell it on the barbecue. As soon as they smell it, 
they fucking go for it, right? Um, yeah, give the bear some coke. Okay, y'all, y'all, cocaine bear, based on a true story? I don't think so. Other than the guy lost the coke out of the airplane. Have you spent any time in New York? I have. I used to spend a lot of time there as a kid. Yeah, I haven't even looked at everything planetary. We had all the retrogrades. I mean, as an astrologer, I don't give or take. I don't really consider what's going on. No bears in London. We'll come here. You'll find them. <laughs> um, I With the astrology aspects, it, they're going to keep happening. Like, they just keep happening. Isn't, okay. Uh, is it nice that masculine energy holding in feminine relaxing in their arms? No, that feels constrictive. <laughs> no, thanks. No, it just means I'm going to have to get up and make dinner and clean the house after them after I've wasted time sitting in their arms, please. No. Mm -mm. That's all it means to me. That's all it means is if there's a man holding me in their arms, then the dishes haven't been done. I have to go to work. I have to pay for said man. And no, I'm not interested. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you. No. <laughs> You're a Leo rising, Mindy. Leo's in your first house. Leo rising. That makes it a Leo, a Leo rising. So, yeah. Let's see. Salmon smells. <laughs> yes, the bear loves salmon. Uh, drunk bears. Yes, right? Oh, my God, the drunk bears. Yeah, thanks, Bobby. That's sweet. I can't remember looking at saying, I can't let you keep doing this to me. And walked right out. Yeah, good. Bye. Peace out. No, I can't. I found it a lot of work. A lot of work. And if the person's not an equal match to you, then it's, I mean, it's fine. I can visit, you know, Coke Bear about Coke Bear about Jack Nicholson. Jack Nicholson's a freak and not a nice person. Um, North Minnesota, my mom won't come see me. Okay, don't fucking ask your mom to come see you then. Don't ask your mom. Uh, did near death make you a psychic? No, I was born that way. Do you sense in your dwelling? Sense? Do I use? Sometimes, yeah. I can't even smell. I'm so stuffed right now. J yeah, Jack looks, does John like cats or is he a dog person? He likes both. He's got baby Jack and Tallulah's over there. Tulip used to be over there. Right now they got baby Jack. So baby Jack and they got the guinea pig. I don't think he's a fan of the guinea pig. Um, Jack looks like a serial killer. He does, doesn't he? What's your next celebrity channel? Don't know yet. Why did near? Well, near death means you leave the, um, the vinyl texture around you and you get to see into the reality of where we go when we leave the physical. So it doesn't make everybody psychic though. Some people have near death, but they're not psychic. Other people energetically are tuned when they have a near death outside of their body. So they're tuned. Um, I don't know that near death changes the chart. That's an interesting question. I have no idea about that. I've never ever contemplated that. But I do know that the near death would probably show in your chart. Like you'd be able to see it through transits. But I don't know if it changes your chart because you most certainly will come back differently when you have an understanding of, of different things. But it's a great question. Yeah. Well, that's a hell of a lot of bossiness there is my output. Let's see. I put ointment. Up. Yeah, I should put. I should. I just, I almost died a few times. Yeah, that it becomes... It's, it's stronger and it's kind of weird. Yeah, have you heard? Wait, uh, I have not. Have you heard of the gate? I have not heard of the gateway experience. To, oh, shit. Tell us what it is. Tell us what it is. I drowned at four. I'm not psychic. Yeah, sometimes near death doesn't bring psychic. I mean, I, I a lot of people say it does, but we're probably only hearing about the people that say it does. Did you report the person that does? Oh, God, I reported everybody. I have people in my own life copying everything I do, trying to do what you do because they think they can fucking do it because you do it. It's so annoying. It's so fucking annoying. It's so annoying, y'all. So annoying. Um, yeah, I know. I, I can't even, I just, I can't. It's like you work hard to be yourself. People hate you for being yourself and these motherfuckers are copying you. 
<laughs> what the hell is that? Surgery on Tuesday. Good luck. My husband, Art, was born psychic. Yeah, Beth, you said that. He's a medium. Um, no, I'm not a fan of Cher. I never really liked Cher. I mean, she's okay. I can see that. I liked her as an actress. I don't care for her singing. I mean, she is what? Okay, I came back super psychic. Excellent. Uh, my gifts are soft. My mother was afraid of her gift. Yeah, it's, I know, but people, the point is, you're not liked in your neighborhood, but people make a, and by the way, when people like you and your friends and the jealous people in your life see that other people act like they like you, they fucking hate you for it too. So if people like you and you have fun and you exude smile, they'll wipe it off your face. That's what they want to do. This is just my opinion from everything. Like you can have somebody for years that's a friend and not know that they secretly don't like you because they act a certain, it's weird, it's weird. YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, do you see? Oh God, hold on, hold on. Uh, will you be doing this for a very long time? YouTube, Instagram, do you see yourself doing something else? Um, I don't look that far ahead anymore. I used to, but I don't, I don't look that far ahead I, because, you know, um, I just get up. I can barely function during the day. I know they're pretenders. It's so weird. It's like, why don't you make up your own name and do your own channel? I know they just steal everything about you. Yes. People either like or hate me. And most people like, I mean, you know, is the espresso ready yet? Yes, it's ready. I drank it. <laughs> Wax museum. I know Sigourney, wait, Sigourney Weaver is a light worker. I don't know about that, but I have to look up on that too. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, no, I know I, I we all have friends and stuff, but what I'm saying to you is I notice a lot of people, if they see that you can do certain things or you are doing certain things, they want to do what you do. And again, everybody can do what they do. No problem. But you can't actually, have you ever drank snake blood? I don't know why I would ever drink snake blood. Uh, I don't know why I would do that. Thanks, Bobby, for that. I don't know... I don't know why I would drink snake blood. <laughs> I can't imagine. But what I'm saying is when they go on TikTok or YouTube and they put their name up like your name and they try to be you, it's like, why are you trying to be me? Why don't you just be who the fuck you are? Or do you not have a personality? Which is very frightening because they probably don't have a personality. Oh my God. Why did your friend have to give up her American citizenship? Why, why, why? Have you ever channeled? No, I haven't. I have not. I don't even know who that is. I'm sorry, I don't. Oh, Sigourney Weavers is the same as yours, Carol. Carol, your chart's the next chart coming. I'm almost finished. Slightly a poquito delayed this week. So, yes, John, I started training John about 15 years ago. He does not hike up the hills. He cannot do that. It takes a really strong person to go up where I do. And my friend Marisa can go with me. Um, there's people I see on the trail that do it, but... Yeah, most of my friends don't want to go hike like that. Yeah, it's Carol's, I mean, it's Carol's birthday, Carol with an E. Carol with an E because I accidentally removed the E. I felt so bad. I've got to pay attention to the way people spell their names. So rude. A uh, cute little girl from the land before time. And, oh, I don't even know that. Sloan goes up very high. Yeah, I do go up high. And I go quick. Yes, Skinwalker Ranch. That's an interesting one. Absolutely. I do go, you mean Baby Jack? Is that who you mean? Do you mean Baby Jack? He's doing so good, Baby Jack, if that's what you mean. Um, Skinwalker Ranch, even legit. Well, there's Skinwalkers. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know, Denise, there's a whole bunch of strangers on YouTube. Uh, what I was going to say is when I hike, I try, I try to beat personal time to the top. So, like, I'm not, like hiking and talking and eating food I will do those things but I try to get there Jackie oh Jackie thank you Jackie I thought you meant baby Jack yeah I talked to Jackie Jackie Angie's mom is still in bed from her injury and her surgery and yeah so she's been in bed like a year because her nerves she can't really walk so it's very sad and as such, you know, that's a hard thing. So I'm always wishing her well as y'all send prayers to her. Um, your tools are your tools. Yeah, they can't be used by others. That's right. No, it's terrible. She had a surgery. She broke her, um, what is this up here, the femur? And she had a surgery and it blew her nerves out. So she's been in bed and the insurance isn't paying. And 
they, you know, it's supposed to be like over 2000 a month for what she, she had for the equipment she has. And I'm like, who can do that? Who can do that? Yeah, people are scared to be authentic. Yeah. Aw, cute, Ashley. That's so cute. Sedona, yes. I, I, Yeah, Jackie, thank you for asking about Jackie. I will tell her. If she's not on here, I doubt she's on here tonight. Um, that's sad. It's sad, yeah. It's just... I couldn't even stay in bed. I mean, you have to stay in bed, but not all other truthers still had YouTube channels. Yeah, no, I know they were taken off. Exactly. Peter, I would be afraid to go there. I don't know where we're going. Where are we going? Where are we going? Peter, I'd be afraid to go there. Crazy Cat Lady, Joe, where are we going? Very sad for Jackie. Not only did she lose her daughter, and she's physically suffering now, which is just... Unfor the man who did that to Jackie's daughter. Yes, I saw what he looks like. Yeah. It's absolutely horrible. You're exactly correct, We. You're correct. Bobby knows this, too. Lost my kids after he did nothing. He said it couldn't work. Oh, God. See? Yeah. I'm so sorry. Okay, Sloan, who took the pictures of you sleeping? Oh, pfft. John took the pictures of me sleeping because I was at their house, sleeping on my triple chin. He zoomed the camera in across the room. So um, I saw a motorcycle with no handlebars after a crash. That was key spike, no handlebars, completely gone. Horrific, horrific. That's how they do collapse. So that's what happened to Keith too. No handlebars. I have a video of Keith's bike on a hoist. Horrific, squeaking, just horrific. Anyway, John took that picture. John took that picture, have you? Um, no, I I do see my son, but I haven't. The primary killer of Angie died. But there were, yeah, exactly, Bobby. I hate it when people take me. <laughs> no, I was like this. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, you got all three chins. He was trying to be cute, though. Meadow was so cute. Me and Meadow fell asleep. I was trying not to sleep, but I can't. When I have a baby breathing next to me, that is the most delicious thing ever, to have the little babies. And Meadow is so darling. Um, so darling. Yes, you're also projecting. That's correct. So darling to see little skinny and lanky, his hair. Yeah, there you go, We You got it. You got it, We Is it human? Yes, it was human. It was 100. What well, was 88, 890, something like that. Do you ever hear from Cappy? Yeah, I'm being sued by the person that Cappy was walking with her family. So I'm still in the Ninth Circuit Court. Blah, blah, blah. La, la, la. Blah, blah. Yeah, we were going to start a human extinction. Wait. Um, okay, human extinction. Poor Angie. I know. Let's do a good thing. Yeah, I love her name. Meadow, I know. Meadow is so cute. She's, she's so cute. Let's see. Uh... Yeah, Bella Sloan is a big black dude. And the one that's pretending to be Keith Bella is a black woman from Nigeria, no less. Um, no, I didn't slander Cappy. What I, I read on um, Tracy Twyman. So Isaac Cappy was working with Tracy Twyman. And he handed all of his notes about pedophiles and trafficking to Tracy. They met in Arizona. And so he gave her whatever he gave her. He ended up, Bobby and I, Bobby and I worked on this. Anyway, he ended up forcing himself off a bridge. That's the wording they used. He forced himself. Meanwhile, we think it was scopolamine. Yeah, Tracy. Yeah, Tracy's work's fascinating. So Tracy said, I, won't ki I will never kill myself. I was not as familiar with Tracy as I was with Isaac. Um, it wasn't something I was necessarily familiar with. But anyway... When Tracy died, Clyde Lewis on a show called um, Ground Zero asked me, it was like on July 19th of 2019, and I think she died somewhere around the 10th, or I could be wrong, whatever day she passed on. Anyway, um, she allegedly committed suicide. It's what the police report says. Anyway, I did a reading on it, not really knowing too much about her, not really knowing too much, and just I read what I got. Her family member, 
I didn't even know she was married. No, Isaac said, so did she say she wasn't suicidal. I just read what I read. Anyway, apparently he had a problem with me speaking my mind on my feelings as a psychic. So I challenged it in court. No, I didn't have the money for a lawyer. I beat four of the five accusations. There's one more. Um, so he tried to say I was using her name and I wouldn't have a career if it weren't for her. And I'm like, dude, I didn't really even know who she was. I do know uh, Isaac was definitely murdered. I do know who she is and didn't know that I'd worked with similar people in the field, but I was not as familiar with her is what I'm trying to say. Um, anyway, Shania Twain has been taken over by some other person. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. Yeah, I, I just, I couldn't get a lawyer. Uh, yes, it's definitely money. If you look it up, it's um, psychic and anti-slap law. So just look up Tracy Twyman lawsuit. So it's been written up. They call me the psychic. They say that it's a quack radio show, QAnon. They always throw that at you. I wish people would stop throwing fucking labels at me because you don't know who I am and I don't vote. So just so we know, I cannot be a Q. I'm, QAnon means questions answered. Okay, QAnon, questions answered. What would be wrong with being a QAnon? I'm not a QAnon. <laughs> not a QAnon person. But what the fuck would be wrong with being a QAnon person? Okay, what would be like, what would be wrong with that? Asking questions. Like, why can't you ask questions? Why are you a fucking malcontent if you ask questions? Um, yes, you No, you pay in this life. I'm pretty sure you pay in this life. And you may pay on, on into the next life. And by pay balance, let's look at it. Karma as balance. I heard legal experts. Yes. Yeah, I know. All kind. Of, it's so ridiculous. I just said what I got psychically. What I can't say a feeling like I'm on a. They asked a question. I answered a question, and the person suing me seemed to think that everybody turned eyes onto that person, thinking that he did it because of what I said. But I never mentioned his name because again, I did not know this woman was married, so I can't mention anybody she's married to because I didn't know she was married, and that's not what I was reading. I thought reading her relationship. I was reading what happened to her. I had to get the thing transcribed. I had to, you know, and then the lawyer, the lawyer actually, um, you should have some sort of right. I should have a right as a person, a crazy person, a logical person to say what I feel. I have an opinion. I'm not, I just, you know, come on now. But, um, yeah, I know. I know. It was so, it was funny. And they're like, you, you know, you can't just say it. I'm like, well, first of all, she was an accomplished author of like 16 books or whatever. She's a public person. It's like if I die right now and y'all want to say something, I'm a pub, semi, sem, somewhat, pub, not like her, but somewhat public person. So it like wouldn't be weird for you to come up with conjecture because you've all seen me on here. So I, yeah, whatever. Anyway, um, hi, Wendy. Hi, Wendy, Wendy. Um, yes, I've got to do Lane Stanley. I know I'm behind on that one. Um, anyway, they say that... I never mentioned this person's name. I never did. Yes, you can, but I'm being sued. Anybody can sue you. I am being sued. And the lawyer said, like last year, she goes, we're, we're taking offers. So I wrote the court and I said, why am I being extorted for money? I don't care if this bitch is taking offers. I don't care. I didn't do anything. You go ahead and you fucking ask for your offers. I'm not paying you to get out of this. Go fucking take offers. You prove I did something. Oh my God. Anyway, I give you offers. It's the most, our, our legal system is outrageous. Gas is $7 because I guess they can do that. I guess they can do that. Um, wait, probation for trying to kill your mom's boyfriend? Okay, I missed that first part. Yeah, it's, just, it's ridiculous. I know they asked the question. I answered the question and I never mentioned the person suing me. So there was no, it's ridiculous. If the person file and now she's looking for them to pay her legal dues. That's the last paperwork I got because her client can't pay. How about this? How about you file a fucking lawsuit and you pay, you pay. If you file it, you fucking pay. How about that? Obviously, Isaac, they said Isaac forced himself off a bridge. And the people who were with him on this last day, so those are the, the, Bobby knows about this, the Arizona witches that came after me. It's so annoying. 
Yes, exactly. Bobby knows this. Bobby knows this. Um, who's making it about herself when she, no one knew she was alive? Who? Who, who, who are you talking about? Yeah, they always ask for fees. You're not going to ask me for fees. I didn't fucking do anything. I didn't do anything. Like, I'm not paying you. <laughs> I'm not paying you. Like, I will die on that. Oh, the woman sue me. No, the woman suing me. Oh, it's a man suing me. It's a, it's a man suing me. But the point is, um, number one, I didn't say anything wrong. I'm asked for an opinion on what I feel. That's what a psychic does. So I said what I feel. And I never accused anybody. I never said anybody did anything or didn't or, you know, definitely not by name and not directed at him at all. Um, no, 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 no. I, I don't have a lawyer. I've done this myself. I beat four. I'm pro se and I, there were five accusations against me. Four of them have been dismissed. We have one more going to court. I'm by myself. I can't pay for a lawyer to do that. That's what they try to do is bankrupt you. So this bitch will show up in court pro se. That's what this bitch will do. I will not get a lawyer for that. You want to sue me. You're going to have to, the judge, everybody is going to have to be annoyed with a person who can't afford a lawyer. And his lawyer even tried to say, here, you could go here. I am not getting involved with a lawyer for a frivolous lawsuit. Go fuck yourself. I'm not doing it. Yeah, I'm not doing it. I'm not fucking doing it. No. I have people on there that have already paid like 20000 30000 No. Like what? The, no. Have a lawyer show up in the one day in court, a couple of thousand bucks, which I don't have right now anyway. But um, yeah, they're going to be annoyed by him because not everybody can afford a lawyer. So you have to take that into consideration. And why should I put myself into financial debt over a jackass who's making up shit for his own fucking sake? Yeah. Uh, into perpetuity. Yeah, exactly. Right. Into perpetuity. Stupid word. Um, there's more. I know there's more important things, but he f fancies himself. Sorry. There's a little map flying around. Um, yeah. So, you know, I don't know. I mean, whatever. Yes. No lawyers. Yeah, exactly. It's like, I'm sorry. No fucking lawyer. Not doing it. Not doing it. Not putting five grand down. No fuck you. Fuck you and eat shit and fuck the legal system. And here's why fuck the legal system. You expect because some joker, some fucking clown sues you. I don't care who the clown is. Hypothetical clown fucking sues you. You got to put money down. You got to always put money down. Fuck off. Oh, they are. They are. So it's it's going to become, if they go forward, it'll be a freedom of speech. Yeah, so I mean, I don't know what to say. I don't have not read about the war in Israel. I don't believe in any war. I don't believe in any war. So I think the government is causing problems. That's what I think. So yeah. All right, you all. Um, yeah. Yeah. It is freedom of speech. That's why I said I, I said it was how I approached it was the anti slap law. So that when you're invited on a certain radio show, TV show, whatever, with kind of unusual concept. Uh, let's see, my lawyer was $10,000. Yeah, I didn't do anything stupid. I said an opinion. Anybody can sue anybody. I'm not going to shut up just because you threatened to sue me. You go ahead and sue me, I'll show up there myself. Not paying for a lawyer, so... Mm -hmm. They're just trying to get money. Nobody asks if we're accepting offers. Well, I'm accepting fucking popcorn. And what is your point? You know? No, I don't get anything back. I'll have to counter sue him to do that. That's the next thing. But I, again, keep in mind, I have to work. So I work five, six hours a day. And I do this stuff. And I have legal stuff with my own son and this fucking idiot. It's annoying. I didn't do anything wrong. I answered a question. I didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> I didn't do anything wrong. I'm not going to pay you if I didn't. You can fucking sue me all you want. I'll keep appealing and I'll keep going back. Because if I did something, I'll atone for it. But I didn't do anything. Yeah. Oh, God. Just ridiculous. Just It's not just me they're suing. They're suing everybody. It's just ridiculous. 
just fucking ridiculous. Uh, let's see. The, the case hasn't been thrown out. Four out of the five things were dismissed by the judge. So I don't know what you call them. Accusations. Four out of the five things that I was accused of were thrown out. But I had to sit there and learn how to write the letters. Bobby knows this. So I'd send them to Bobby. She'd say, try and point this out. Lucas printed shit out for me because my printer jammed. So I had to get these court orders in, right? Number five is I deliberately tried to cause him... I don't know, um, problems. I don't know the wording of it. So I literally tried to, I, I said what I said with the intention of harming him. Impossible because I didn't know she was married. Okay. So I didn't know she was there. I didn't know, I didn't know that this person existed. I did not know the woman was married. I was not familiar with her. To the same level. I know the name, but I wasn't like, uh, I was not on the personal life part of it. So, yeah, exactly. I mean, emo something like that. But I would have to know who you are to do that. And that was not my intention. I know my intention. I got called. I went on a show. I answered a fucking question. Just like everybody says, what happened to Michael Jackson? What happened to Madonna? What happened to blah, 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 whatever? I didn't do anything to fucking harm you. I didn't do any, I, I didn't. You know, something like that. I don't, I, I didn't even read it. I don't know. Um, of course it'll be okay. And if it's not okay, I don't care. They're not getting anything from me. Don't have anything to get. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, having an opinion. I know it's not, so, it, it, I didn't accuse anybody. I literally said the words that I heard in my head. That's all I said is what I heard in my head. And it was about nothing related to this person suing me. So this fictitious nonsense over here. Oh, it's such a waste of time. Like it's such a cocksucking waste of time. It's unbelievable. Yeah, I know, right? The lawyer was obnoxious too. Like oh, we, we, we're taking offers. I told her to fuck off and hung up on her. They don't like it, but when you're pro se, I, they cannot force you to get a lawyer. So they have to deal with you in pro se. Why should you spend your hard-earned money? And why should I be paying off a debt to a lawyer to handle this stupidity? Obviously, I guess if they're going to charge me with murder, I'd have to hire a lawyer. But you'll notice, OJ got his lawyer paid for. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, always attacked, right? Always fucking attacked. Just bizarre. But I know my intentions. And so, yeah, they're bored and broke, I'm sure. I'm sure both. Yeah, exactly. Yes, Chatty Fanny, you are funny. Um, they have to pick and nitpick with me. Oh, God, all the time. I said I'm just a crazy person with an opinion. Fucking clown, bitch. I didn't do anything on purpose. I was asked a question I answered. Just like if you asked me what happened to Marilyn Monroe, I definitely feel she was murdered. I feel Marilyn Monroe was murdered. I feel like she didn't commit suicide. That is how I feel. That's what I feel. I'm sorry. I don't care what the papers say. I don't care what the police report says. That's how I feel. Want to call me crazy? Go for it. But it doesn't mean there's any intention to harm. That's an opinion. I know we. I know. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It's so annoying. Yeah, if I was a judge, I'd ask for your honor. <laughs> no, I think they don't like you not getting a lawyer, but I can't afford it. After Keith died, all my money goes towards legal stuff with that. And then the money towards my divorce with John, which is over with, which is why I gave up because I don't have any more money. Can't keep paying for lawyers. I'm not doing it. Um, yeah. <sighs> it's really my name. Yeah, it's Chatty Fanny. It's funny. Oh, that's what you're talking about. Um, that's so cute. Mommy and Bay, I'd be shaking and won't stop. Yeah. Let's see, Sloan, you should show up in court with a clown wig. <laughs> exactly. They probably locked my ass in jail. It's the most obnoxious thing that you can't speak freely. It's not, if you mention the person's name and said they did this, I can understand, but I never said that. I didn't even mention their name. I didn't even know this person. I don't even, I didn't even know this person existed. I had no idea who this person was. So you can't really say intent because I had no fucking clue. So, yeah, can you earn enough by astrological? 
Yeah, Peter, I do a lot of astrology and have for 40 years. Absolutely. Um, wait, who did? Mamie Van Buren ran out of... I don't even know who that is. Oh, I don't know who that is. Okay, the woman who's, who was there after Keith's accident said... Oh, yes, yes, exactly. I don't know. I don't know who the... Bobby and I are trying to find that fucking woman. Yeah, of course he's a fucking troll. And I'm saying he can suck my dick. How about that? Anyway, yeah, the woman, uh, you must be differential between court and case. She was another bleach blonde. Okay, Fanny Bombshell. I have no idea who that is. You guys are all making me crazy. I don't know who's who we're talking about. All right, you guys, totally sweating. Um, totally throw a vibration at him. Oh, well, when I first heard that I was being sued in a lawsuit that, like, this is after Keith died. I got called by somebody who saw me on the sue list <laughs> with 40 other people. And they called me and they said he does black magic. And I'm like, I don't fucking care what he does. But I will tell you, they did try to show throw shit at me. They did. So what is a spiritual insight for autism? That's a good question. Yes, Amanda finds wigs, right? Oh, my God. Um, yeah, Autism is just a different way of viewing the world. So they come in with a different um, electrical frequency is what I would say. So this they're, they're probably half between worlds. Um, something like that. I don't think there's anything wrong with them. We just want everybody to be the same. I mean, it's problematic if you got to raise a kid in this, this fucking world. Yeah. Yeah, no, it was terrible. I mean, yeah, they stood, they sued me, but they told me that they're a higher vibration. Yeah, that's what I thought too, Carol, very much so. Um, they can't function here. You got to be a dumbass to function in this planet. There, Veronica, a, I'm an adult autistic person. Yeah, the Salem witches attack. Bobby knows this. Um, yeah, they did. The Salem witch, uh, the Salem, tch, Arizona witches. They did whole videos on me just mocking my appearance, these fucking people. Who happened to be the last people seen with Isaac Cappy, by the way. One of them commenting on me was the last person to be seen with Isaac Cappy. Very fucking interesting. And then they came at me. Uh, it's, it's like, what the fuck is wrong with you? What the fuck is wrong with you? Commenting. And you should see what they look like on top of it. It's like if you're going to comment on someone's appearance, you at least better be halfway, partially, slightly better looking. Or shut up. Mm. Mm. Okay, someone. Yeah, someone made him throw. Exactly. Yeah, no, they come at you. I was told the guy does black magic. He can do all the black magic he wants. It doesn't mean that God doesn't protect people who are not doing anything wrong. Because God does. I know weirdos galore. <laughs> exactly. Um, yeah, they're super unique. They, they vibrate on a different frequency. They vibrate on a different frequency. So they come into this frequency. And the witches are in Arizona. Bobby knows this. I found out my grandmother was accused of being a witch. She died in prison in Salem. There you go. And there you go. The witches. Which just means health worker, really. Um, <laughs> okay, yeah. God protects me in the name of Jesus. Amen. So you want to come at me, come at me. But you're going to have to fight Jesus. And they don't like that. They don't like that. All right, you guys, I'm going to eat my din din. My favorite crystal right now is always obsidian. I'm obsessed. And I love the opals, the opals. Okay, good night, you guys. Bye. Thanks, you guys. I'm going to come back with more sensible stuff to talk about. Okay, bye.